What's up guys? Crazed here, little gay player for you on... Wait, that's not Halo. I know, I know, I'm not playing some Halo today. However, however, this is another game I play quite often. I'm actually running around on my mage and um, just running some old school Wrath of the Lich King dungeons. Because right now there's a time walking event. What means, what that means, if you're really unfamiliar with World of Warcraft, is you go back into past games, past expansions, and you play some of these old content, um, which is cool, man. Wrath of the Lich King was like one of my favorite all-time uh, expansions. Uh, I know a lot of people would say Burning Crusades, uh, if you played at that, that time, but I did not. I did not play Burning Crusades. I did not play Vanilla WoW. Wrath of the Lich King is when I really started playing, and uh, it was... It was an effort. It was an effort to pull myself away. <laughs> uh, it was so bad. It was so bad. I tell you what, I would spend a lot of time just running dungeons and uh, trying to gear up and getting the best gear I can. And, and Wrath of the Lich King was just so amazing. I loved the lore behind it because I played Warcraft 3. Uh, if you haven't played Warcraft 3, you really should. It's probably one of the best art. TS uh, games out there, period. Uh, there's very few, I think, that really compares to it. Even as old as it is, it's still an incredible game. I mean, you see its age. Absolutely, you see its age with the characters and whatnot. But overall, the story was fantastic. The gameplay was really well done. And just an incredible game. And Wrath of the Lich King was more or less an expansion of that storyline, which was awesome. Which was really awesome. I love playing it. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, so much time. I, I remember one time, there's probably about 16 dungeons or instances or strikes or whatever you want to call them, which is what I'm running right here. And it was, uh, I think I, I took a day and I just ran every single one on Heroic. And that was just that was a day. <laughs> it was not an easy task to do, but I did it. Oh, but it was fun though. It was fun. And these enemies are actually a little stronger than what I remember, which is kind of crazy because I remember we just we just roll over these things. We just have such a there was there was no stopping more or less at that time when it was when it's uh, in its prime because Everyone was just so overgeared, and this is just so refreshing. You get back into it, and I'm going to pick up some loot here. <laughs> I picked up these old quests, and uh, I I've done them before, and I don't know why I have to do them again, or why they showed up again, but there it is. And there's this boss here. Uh, I always... This boss was kind of interesting because it was... It picked a character at random that would take and put him on a sacrificial pillar and apparently we we're going to skip the boss but apparently there was a time uh, if you got picked and uh, that was a bad deal because it was like instant kill if they didn't kill the uh, little add-ons at the time you would have been dead no matter what so that was really fun to do and they had uh, if <laughs> it was so hard to do because if it picked the tank or if it picked the, the healer, it really was a difficult thing to do. Uh, it's such a shame. Such a good little boss. We're just going to skip. But that's the thing about being a tank. You can just kind of do whatever you want to do or not to do, you know. Uh, for those that don't know what a tank is, because a tank is actually pretty cool, pretty important role. Uh, I'm just running around as DPS. I'm pretty low leveled, well, low-ish. <laughs> for for this stuff here because usually uh, the max right now is 110 and I'm like 104 or something like that and just run around and uh, take care of that and the tanks what they do is they run in and they uh, gather everybody's attention to say hey come on over here come fight me and they're all attack the tank which leaves the healer and the, the damage dealers freed up so they can deal the damage and of course the healer keep everybody alive and that's what I love about these dungeons but so much more than other games uh, especially console games I mean there are a few out there that will portray this in some way but 
This your your roles are very very defined, and there is some crossover from time to time. Trust me, <laughs> I have uh, more than once had to tank a, a dungeon because the tank just took too much damage or they died and the healer was, fell asleep or something like that and same thing with that I've also healed when I wasn't really supposed to be healing I was supposed to be uh, uh, doing the damage and I mean that's the stuff I, I you know that really is awesome about this game that's why I love this game still to this day it's still an incredibly fun game and that's what I really like is that you have to work together as a team, especially in the more difficult dungeons and raids. Uh, and which is why there's so much frustration and so many people that get angry because others do such uh, stupid, stupid things. Now here is a, another boss. And we're going to see if we go ahead and do this. But it's actually kind of a cool little boss too because you can activate this little pillar which is out right there behind everybody at the moment. You activate this pillar, sends a big ball down there, and it activates all these creatures one at a time. And you kill the creature, and then it activates the last one, the fifth one. And then it will uh, uh, be a nice little fight there. Because the other stuff, it really wasn't all that difficult. But as you can see, it's, we're going to skip this one too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to get some loot. <laughs> Well, at least the next boss. We cannot skip the next boss, so we're going to have to do that one. I'm going to have to get out there, though. Yeah. Gather my loots. Gather my silver bars. Oh, this one here is such a difficult one, too. Uh, when it was in its prime. Um, because he does this, like, whirlwind thing. And if you're in this whirlwind thing, uh, you are going to die. Because it just tears up your damage. Or it gives you so much damage. I'm just going to take my time and let them kill the mobs and the trash while I gather my loots. <laughs> That's so wrong. Crazy, you should be in there. You should be tearing up that stuff. Uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm actually not doing very good on the D DPS board here. But like I said, I'm not very high leveled. I'm actually still leveling this character. Uh, so... I, it's understandable to have a little lower DPS. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this one's actually a really fun boss because he comes in here and he actually drops uh, a mount like that uh, blue drake that he's flying on. And I have never gotten it. I had a friend of mine that tore this dungeon up over and over and over and over again until he finally got it. It's so hard to get those proto drake mounts. I got one. Actually, I think I got two. Yes, I got two. Uh, thinking about it, I got one that's a green one, which was really hard to get to. Uh, just kind of random chance. As you see here, we got to throw these harpoons at that thing, knock that protodrake down, then we can fight the boss. Ah, good times. Good times. <laughs> if you guys have ever played World of Warcraft, this is definitely the one to play. Um, Wrath of the Lich King. I love so much right there. This, the lore was just awesome. Let's see, there he is, doing that whirlwind. As you can see, we lost two players already. I mean, it's just that quick. If you don't stay out of there, you're going to die. And I learned that the hard way. <laughs> oh, a long time ago, I learned that the hard way. It's like, if he's doing that, coming at you, get out of the area because you are going to die. Uh, but you can do this. We can do this if we do this right and take our time. And uh, just try to get this over with. There we go. Looks like we got one of our teammates back. There's that whirlwind again. Yipes. As you see, my, my health bar just dropped. Just dropped. <laughs> it's just that quick. It is such a powerful little move. There we go. Oh, such a difficult time. So much fun, though. I, I can't even remember. I can't even imagine not playing this back in the day. It was just I grounded out and I, I got my. Uh, at the time, it was called frost badges. So you get these frost badges. You guys, if you play Destiny or other stuff, you understand that there's certain currency that you get to buy the better gear. There we go. There we got some. We got some. Now this next little area, uh, 
Next little area here is actually kind of difficult. Did I not loot that? Maybe I didn't. Oh. Let's see here. Not not the best view. <laughs> oh, the fear. The fear is like the worst. I always hated the fear. It just makes you run away, makes you run into stuff. And that's what actually makes this next little area here so difficult is the fear. And I remember wiping on this so many times because people just did it stupid. Did it stupid. I don't know why we did it so stupidly, but as you can see, I got no control. It just sends me running away like a crazy person. And if you run into extra mobs, you're going to pull all those extra mobs. And that's not fun. It's survivable sometimes. If you got like one of the best teams out there, which is really hard to do in a pug, but uh, it's uh, it can be done. I've seen it done, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Like it's been so long. I haven't. This is like the first time I've ran this dungeon, uh, like a legitimate run of this dungeon in a long time. We'll see how it goes. There we go. Launch some pyro. Launch some fire blasts. Fortunately, I'm sick. And the healer is not healing me. Heal me. There he goes. It's like they should be able to cure my sickness, but uh, sometimes they can't. I don't know. As you see here, this, this next room, right in the next room after this, this is where we've had... Do you see? They feared him right into that other room. This is where we've had so many wipes. It's unreal. You gotta take your time here. You gotta do it right. The best way to do this and is to... Uh, let's see if the tank will do it, but I don't know. Uh, the best way to do it is to just go out there, pull a small group, and pull them into this room so we don't go out into the extra... or out into the other room. So, let's see. Is I'm not in this is just a pickup group, so I've, I'm not talking to anybody here So this is gonna be kind of a let's see what happens and it looks like he's gonna hold them out there <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of scared kind of scared Let's see if we can't do it and there's the fear Yep, yeah, and there's the extra pole <laughs> Oh, goody. And we got one teammate down. <laughs> this isn't looking good. The tank is taking a beating. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and the tank is down. And we're feared. <laughs> so many deaths in this room, man. It looks like we're going to attack on one more. <laughs> without the tank to hold all the aggro, yeah, we're pretty much dead. <laughs> Oh, well, looks like I'm going to have to walk back, so I'm going to edit that out so you guys don't have to see that. And we're back. Back in our little area here. Let's hopefully we've learned our lesson and we can move forward. Looks like we have. So we pull them into this room. It's so much easier. If you play Wrath of the Lich King or you play this dungeon, pull them into that room. Just one small group. It saves you so many wipes. <laughs> right. It's a little lesson learned. Lesson learned. Oh, but that's what's fun about being a tank too, is you have to know the dungeons. You have to know them, because if you don't do them right, you're gonna lead your team, lead your group into a death, and it's um, it's not fun. It's not fun to walk all the way back. You didn't get to enjoy the walk back, but uh, it was there. It was there. <laughs> All right, this is a smaller group. I think this is much more manageable. So we'll see how this goes And a fear and I'm wasting all my uh, combustion power. Yay And that's one th other thing. I, I absolutely love about uh, World of Warcraft is that the classes are so individual. I mean, there's some crossovers here and there but if you're playing a mage you're you're a mage if you're playing a paladin it's a paladin. There, there's so little, uh, or there's so much difference between the, the uh, classes, it feels unique. 
And as a matter of fact, in the next expansion, which is coming, which I'm probably going to pre-order here sometime soon, uh, there's actually new subclasses, and which is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I like, think you can like play like Dark Iron Dwarves and stuff like that. And, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. There we go. More fear. And there we go. I pulled the boss. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to pull the boss, but, uh, yeah, I ran all the way across the room to pull the boss. <laughs> that fear, that fear is no joke, my friends. That fear is no joke. It has cost more, more lives. Oh, I'm going to have to look it up, but I think the, the priest had a option that would cause somebody to be immune to fear and you can only cast it on one person and I always play the healer so it's like do I cast it on myself or do I cast it on the tank you know because if the tank is feared he can run all over the place he's usually right up front into stuff and if uh, he's doing that and running around crazy and into other stuff he's gonna pull more stuff but maybe if I'm a healer I can heal him through it I mean, it kind of really depends on the tank and how well he's taking damage or not. But uh, most of the time, I just put it on the tank. That way he can maintain control. Uh, but other times I did. I did put it on myself uh, because I felt like it was more beneficial. Um, but that's the choice. That's the choice uh, that we had. That, I mean, we've lost so many teams, so many pugs died because of fear <laughs> oh so much fun so much fun and this boss here I, I never had a problem with this one I don't think he was all that difficult uh, I think the other one with the world one was actually a little bit more difficult I think I'm gonna pop my my uh, time spell here and then we get everybody shooting off faster and we can get this guy dead and this will pretty much be about the end of the dungeon. This is the final boss, so. Sucks we missed or skipped a couple bosses that you didn't see, but still, it was a fun little run. And uh, by all means, if you haven't played World of Warcraft, I'd definitely recommend it to you. But thanks, ways, uh, or thanks anyways, guys, for watching. This is The Crazed, and I am out of here. Thank you.